This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report, as we turn now to our next guest. We continue to discuss the crisis in abortion access as we turn to a new book that offers a new vision for the pro-choice movement. It's called Pro, Reclaiming Abortion Rights. We're joined by Katha Pollitt. Welcome to Democracy Now! Why Pro? Well, um, I chose that title because I wanted to make a positive case for abortion rights, as opposed to the negative case of if, if abortion is illegal, women will die, which is true. Um, I wanted to talk about how abortion is part of what makes it possible for women to have a decent, reasonable life in which they have children when they're ready to have them. And it's good for everybody. It's good for children to be wanted and to be well-timed, and it's good for men, too. We forget that. But um, when you have women having the random children, expected to have random children with random people just because a stray sperm gets in their womb, this is not, a, this is not good for anybody. And, Katha Pollitt, you say that you've addressed the book to those who are in the middle of the abortion debate here in the United States. And this, you say millions of Americans, more than half, who don't want to ban abortion exactly, but don't want it to be widely available either. How do you explain that kind of middle space? Well, I think abortion is, is, a ver is very stigmatized. And it's connected with ideas about women and sex. Like, um, you can have an abortion if you've been raped. But if you've had voluntary sex, too bad. You know, a lot of people feel that way. Um, and most abortion in the United States is for social, economic, and personal reasons. It's not for the really hard cases. About maybe 10 percent is for rape and incest and uh, medical catastrophes for the mother or, or the fetus. But most of it is because the woman is, she's in school, she doesn't have any money, she doesn't have a partner, and she doesn't want to be a single mother. Um, and, um, and, you know, and reason, reasons like that. But those reasons, which basically say this should be a woman's decision, because having children when you want to have children is very important to women's lives, that, I think, is, is a harder message for middle-of-the-road people to take in. We're going to continue to talk with Katha Pollitt about abortion as a moral right after this.